Welcome to A Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss a typical type of question on kinematics and dynamics from May June 2021, Paper 2, Variant 1. For part A1, we need to calculate the power required to overcome the total resistive force on the trolley and suitcases when they move at a constant speed of 1.4 meters per second. Power required, we need to calculate. To overcome the resistive forces, it's simply means that power required in this case will be equal to power dissipated due to resistive forces. Power dissipated. So power required is equal to power dissipated. Power dissipated simply we can calculate if we have the resistive forces and the speed of the trolley. For this case it is given to us there is a constant total resistive force of 80 newton and the speed of the trolley is also constant. If the speed is constant and force is constant simply we can calculate power. Power will be equal to force time speed. In this case force is equal to 18 newton we can write down this formula again here this is only true if the force is constant and speed is constant. Here it is given to us F is equal to 18 Newton. Newton then it is constant and the speed of the trolley is also constant. Now if we simply multiply this one our final answer will be equal to 25 volts. And this question has two marks. The first mark is if you have written this formula. And this is C mark. You will get first mark. And the second mark is answer mark. If you got the right answer, you will get the second mark. For part 2, we need to calculate the time taken for the trolley to come to rest after it is released. For this question, it is given to us the total mass of the trolley and the suitcases is equal to 72 kgs. It is also given to us there is a constant resistive force that is acting on this trolley. And the magnitude of constant resistive force is given that is equal to 18 Newton. And the trolley is moving to the right and the initial velocity of the trolley is given that is equal to 1.4 meters per second. It is also given to us this trolley finally comes to rest mean finally stop. So the final velocity of this trolley is equal to zero. Question is asking us we need to find the time taken between these two points. We need to find out the time taken between these two points. So this is what we need to find out, time taken between these two points. As this resistive force is constant, so it means trolley has constant deceleration. So we can write down trolley has constant deceleration because a resistive force acting on this trolley is constant and this is the only force acting on the trolley. So the acceleration or you can say deceleration in this case that is also constant. If deceleration is constant so we can simply calculate by A is equal to F net over m f net over m f net in this case is equal to f r because there is only one force is acting on this trolley and that is resistive force divided by mass of the system f r is given this is equal to 18 newtons and the mass of the trolley and suitcases is given that is equal to 72 if we solve this we will get value of a that is equal to 0. 0.25 meters per second per second. As in this case, acceleration is constant, mean deceleration is constant. So simply we can use kinematic equations. V is equal to U plus AT. We need to find out time. So simply we can rearrange this one. This is V minus U over a. For this part, V is equal to 0. So simply we need to plug in these values and U is given that is equal to 1.4. We need to divide by A. A is deceleration. Means if we take to the right is positive. So A U is positive. But A is to the left. So this is direction of deceleration. So this is to the left. So this is also negative. So this is 0. 0.25, but this is negative. So if we solve this, then our final answer will be 5.6 second. And this is the final answer. This question has three marks. So the first mark is if you have written this formula, A is equal to F net over M. The second mark is if you have done this calculation 
and the third mark is the answer mark if you have got right answer for part b1 we need to find the speed of the trolley at point y means at this point we need to find out what is speed of this trolley it is given to us the speed of the trolley at point x is equal to zero because it is given to us trolley was at rest at point x and the displacement between point x and y is also given that is equal to 9.5 question is also telling us the component f of the weight of the trolley and suitcases that acts along the slope is equal to 54 newtons we can also assume that constant total resistive force of 18 newtons opposes the motion of the trolley and suitcases and this is the resistive force that is opposing the motion of the trolley we need to find out v now this question is quite straightforward one first of all we need to calculate acceleration of the system that will be equal to f net divided by mass of the system f net in this case will be equal to 54 minus 18 divided by total mass of the system that is equal to 72 if we solve this one 54 minus 18 that will be equal to 36 divided by 72 and this will be equal to 0 0.5 meters per second Per second and this acceleration is constant so simply we can write down this is constant as this acceleration is constant simply we can use 2as is equal to v square minus u square means constant acceleration so we can use these kinematic equations from here u is equal to zero so simply this is given to us this is equal to zero we can write down from here v square is equal to 2as or we can simply say that v will be equal to root of 2as so simply this is v now we need to plug in values a is given that is 0 0.5 and s is equal to 9.5 and simply we need to take the root of this if we take the root of this that will be equal to 3.1 and this is the final answer so the final answer is 3.1 this question has three marks the first mark is if we have got the right value of acceleration so this is first c mark and the second c mark is if we have used this formula and we have plug in these values and the last mark is for answer if we have got the right answer for part b2 we need to calculate the work done by f for the movement of the trolley from x to y we need to calculate work done by this force the force and displacement they are in the same direction so we no need to worry about angle we need to calculate work done by f so we no need to worry about other forces as well so we only need to consider f we can simply say that w in this case will be equal to ft and and value of f is given that is equal to 54 newtons then the displacement in direction of force is also given that is equal to 9.5 meters now simply we need to multiply this one if we multiply this our final answer will be 510 joules and that's the final answer this question has only one mark and that is answer mark if you have got right answer you will get this mark for this part on figure 2.2 we need to sketch a graph between time t and the work done by force f when the trolley moves from point x to point y numerical values of the work done and time are not required it simply means we need to sketch as the trolley moves from point x to point y there is a resultant force acting on the trolley and this trolley will accelerate and acceleration will be constant so this is direction of acceleration question is asking us we need to find the relationship between work done and time in this case f is constant mean the magnitude of this force is is not changing but the displacement is increasing with time and displacement is equal to ut plus one half a t square this trolley started from rest so the u is equal to zero so simply we can say this term will be equal to zero then we can write down d is equal to one half a t square now simply we can replace d here with one half 
a t square if you look at this one a is constant 1 by 2 is constant f is constant so simply we can write down 1 half f a this is constant times t square w is equal to this these quantities are constant so simply we can replace them with one constant we can write down this is k times t square so if you look at this equation now this is equation of parabola so simply we can write down this is equation of parabola so the shape of the graph will be somewhat like this it has to be curved and its gradient has to increase so it is curve first thing if you show it is a curve you will get one mark and that is m mark means it must be a curve and the second mark you will get if you show that the gradient of this curve is increasing for part c it is given to us the angle of slope in b is constant the frictional forces acting on the wheels of the moving trolley are also constant we need to explain why in practice it is incorrect to assume that the total resistive force opposing the motion of the trolley and suitcases is constant as the trolley moves between x and y. Question is simply asking us why it is not correct to assume that total resistive force is constant means total resistive force is not constant we have assumed in the previous part that total resistive force is constant but in fact total resistive force is not constant so we need to explain now why total resistive force is not constant total resistive force simply we can write down total resistive force total fr total resistive force this is equal to friction plus a resistance friction and a resistance so this is equal to these two forces total resistive force friction is constant it is given to us frictional forces are constant so this force is constant but a resistance this depends on speed and when the trolley is moving down the slope means when it is moving between x and y it is accelerating so the speed is not constant so speed is increasing as speed is increasing a resistance is also increasing so total resistive force is not constant it is increasing as trolley moves between x and y so that's the reason we cannot assume that total resistive force is constant if we assume total resistive force is constant between x and y that is wrong because a resistance increases with speed so that's all what we need to write down we can simply say a resistance increases with speed so simply we can say that a resistance increases with speed this question has only one mark if you have written this you will get one mark and this is b mark it has to be in your answer